What's up guys and welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be slaying this wig from start to finish. She's a beautiful highlighted headband wig and she comes courtesy of Beauty Forever. So this is what we were looking like from the beginning. I took off another wig and I'm sure you can kind of see on my forehead that I'm missing makeup. Don't worry, we're going to fix that all in the end. But we're going to start off with the install. So this is kind of how I typically will have my braid up underneath my wigs. I find this is the quickest, easiest way to get a semi-flat install whenever I put my wigs on. And I'm able to braid my hair up in like 10 minutes or less. Now here also is a look at the wig itself. This is a headband wig and it's actually pre-colored in the color T412. It's straight and it's 24 inches in length. This is also a look at the inside construction of the cap and I'm going to show you exactly how I install it. Now there's a comb in the front, which I never use the, in the, the combs in the front, but I do utilize the combs in the back. The black piece here is the part that makes it a headband wig. They pretty much subbed out what would typically be lace and put that headband there. You guys know there's a shortage on lace going on around the world. And so they've been pretty much improvising and helping us still to be able to, you know, have something going on and providing something. And I, I personally love these wigs for quick, easy on the go wigs. As you guys can see, I clamped the headband elastic together as tight as I could and then I took and put the back of the actual wig and that comb and tucked it into the headband underneath and that's how I usually will have mine sit that way they sit pretty secure they don't slide around they don't slide back I can shake around you know my kids will kind of like fall on top of me and pull the hair and they really never come off in my opinion so they are safe and secure you can kind of bond them down a little bit more with a little bit of an elastic or bobby pins if you want a little bit more security but as I said before I pretty much never have an issue as far as sliding or it just fitting too big. So what's easy about this wig is that all I'm gonna do is flat iron the ends for a nice silk press. I did add a little bit of a heat protectant off camera and I am using my favorite Babyless flat iron. Of course, I'll have the heat protectant and the flat iron linked in the description box. If you want, you can go ahead and add baby hair. Um, of course, you guys know I've done plenty of headband wig tutorials. You can check out a few on my channel and I do love to do baby hair now. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it, but because this one did not have a darker root and my hair is pretty much dark brown or black. It wasn't gonna look right. Trust me, I tried off camera. So I just opted to put the headband over. And this makes perfect for like my errands or going to the gym, having a cute little vibe going on without having to do anything with my real hair. And when it comes to flat iron, I love to use the chase method where I take a rat tail comb and I'll take a piece and pretty much Follow the comb with the flat iron and this is going to give you the most sleek silk press of all time. Now from here I'm going to you know pretty much complete the look, add a little bit of foundation back to my forehead because again I took off another wig and touch up the rest of my hair because I was a little bit of oily. When doing your makeup don't forget to set it, that's what's going to make it look so flawless. And here's a back shot of what the wig looks like. I think this looks beautiful. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put the wig on. Now typically I will go ahead and do some baby hair. You guys know I started out with these wigs, no baby hair. I got a little bit more confident with the baby hair, but because this one is a highlighted wig and it's done so nicely, it's not gonna blend with my dark hair. So I'm not even going to try, but Beauty Forever did send me a ton of goodies. As always, this is their packaging and they really did load me up. So first of all, there's this mask here, really cute. I can hold on to this for like Mardi Gras or something like that. This is the mask here. Like I said, I might hold on to it for, you know, I don't have any masks like this. Maybe, I don't know when I would need that, but they also gave this little crystal rhinestone little hairpin. They gave me some wig caps and then they gave a ton of headbands this one here is super cute it's the navy with the pink this one is very similar to the first one it's navy with some flowers all over it and then this one is a lighter blue with a little bit of floral print tribal print tribal print i think that is on it i think this one is very cute and would be perfect for spring with that little mauvey pink color burgundy with a little bit of navy blue with that tribal print you guys know my favorite is leopard, so this probably is going to be the one I rock the most with this look. 
And then last but not least, my favorite in this package is this one here. It is a actual headband. I like how thick it is because it'll cover that, um, actually I can just go ahead and put it on, but I like how thick this headband is. When you're doing a headband wig, you definitely need a thicker band on your wig. And this one has like, I don't know if you would consider that a faux like Dior inspired print. But I'm going to say it's a Dior inspired print and that looks really good. The only thing about the headband is I do wish I had some edges exposed because it's a little bit too far forward. Which one do you guys think will go best with my top? I actually think this one goes better with my top. I like this one too. But I feel like it's more spring vibe and it does have like a little bit of a blue in it which will complement my top but I think this one is better. And as I always mentioned scrunch up the actual headband as much as you can especially if the headband that you're gonna wear on top is kind of thin because you don't really want to expose that black band too much. Or really none if possible. Yeah, that looks so much better. And if you want, you guys know my jam. You can put it in a pony. As always I like their products their wigs are super awesome of course I've worked with this company a couple of times I believe this is my first headband wig from this company but I really do like the switch up of the color now of course if this is not your jam and you don't want to do a colored wig you can get wigs in the black color the natural brown color you guys know 99j has been my jam I believe they have some options on the website for that as well so be sure to check the link in the description box if you are interested in checking them out also a list of everything I use actually this is probably the first video where I didn't use anything that they did not provide except for like a comb or brush so yeah links to the wig in the description box i'm pretty sure they have some sales going on for black friday coming up so you don't want to miss that also i'm going to be having some stuff going on on my channel for black friday of course the wig sale will be going up on black friday and that is going to have about 60 wigs give or take a couple i am ashley b Deck, if you are tuning in for the first time thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches Hey!